Good morning Year 4. Let's start with our grammar focus this morning. I want you to list as many subordinating conjunctions as you can. Now, remember we looked at two types of conjunctions last week. We looked at coordinating conjunctions, which are the conjunctions we find in compound sentences. They were and, but, or, so. I want you to today to list subordinating conjunctions. The conjunctions you might use in a complex sentence. So pause the video and see if you can write as many as you can down. Well done to those of you who made a list. If you didn't, maybe it's something you could challenge yourself to do later on in the week to try and get them ingrained in your head. Here are just a few. If, since, as, when, although, while, after, before, until and because. Now, this week we are writing a poem about a river. We're going to use the work that we did last week in reading when we looked at A River by Valerie Bloom, and we'll come back to that in a minute. You're going to be writing a poem for your teachers, and you're going to be hopefully be recording that at the end of the week so we can see it. But today, in order to write a poem, we need to think about similes and descriptive language. So how can we paint a picture in people's heads? What devices can we use? Pause the video now and have a think. What devices would you use to paint a picture? Hopefully you came up with a few. A few that you could use would be adjectives. We can use powerful verbs, so doing words. We could use similes. Now what's a simile? Have a think about that. Do you remember a simile is when you describe one thing against another? We'll come back to that in a moment as well. Some of you may have thought about metaphors and some of you may have thought about personification. Okay, so there are a few things which allow us to paint a picture in people's head and poetry really describes a visual. So here's the poem, The River by Valerie Bloom, which we looked at last week in reading. Hopefully you remember. Now a simile is a type of figurative language. It's when you compare two different things to show a similarity. And you're often doing this by using the phrase like a, okay, or as a. So, The River by Valerie Bloom. The river is like a wanderer. Is that a simile? It is because you use the phrase like a to compare the river to a wanderer. Can you find another one in this poem? Good, some of you might have come up with the river is like a winder. Now you may have noticed that I'm changing these slightly. So what uh, Valerie Bloom has done is she's actually used metaphors. She said the river's a wanderer. The river is a wanderer. She's not saying it's like her. She's saying it literally is. And that's the difference between a metaphor and a simile. So what we've written down here, the river is like a wanderer, is a simile. And that's what I want you to concentrate on today. So using this sheet, which I'll show you is attached to your resources in a moment, you're going to try and describe the river. So if I come on to this sheet here, which is attached to your resources, your bronze challenge is can you describe each picture, and the pictures are down here, using adjectives, so using describing words. The winding river, the colourful river, the flourishing river. Okay, so you are just using adjectives. Most of you will start on the silver challenge. Can you describe each picture using similes? So for example, the river moves like a sloth. Okay, so if I come back here, you can annotate, let me take it off bold, the river 
moves like a sloth. Cool stuff. That would be here. However, would the river moves like a sloth be appropriate here? No, probably not, because in that image we've got a really fast river, haven't we? It might work for this one here. I might come up with another one down here. The river moves. Oh, the river curves. I'm going to go for, let's use a different verb, like a snake. Because here we've got a very curvy river. So you can populate your sheet with those similes. If you can do that, the gold challenge today is the same as the silver challenge, but I want you to use the thesaurus, the online thesaurus, if you haven't got a book at home, to choose words carefully for description. So whether I hear I said curves, I might think I could find a better word for curves. So if I visit my online thesaurus, which I've got up here, and I put curves, let's see what comes up. Fingers crossed, there we go. The river arcs like a snake. The river bends like a snake. The river turns like a snake. I quite like arcs like a snake. So I'm going to go back, the river arcs like a snake. Okay, and you've got your thesaurus link is just up here if you want to copy it into your browser. Okay. So hopefully you are able today to write some similes. Remember that a simile compares one thing to another using like a or as a. Okay, you've got some images to inspire you, you've got a thesaurus to help you up-level your words, and the last thing I want to show you is I've got a video, and hopefully this will inspire you and get you into the role of describing rivers. So while you watch this next video, I suggest you sit there with a pen and paper and you write down as many adjectives, as many describing words as you can think of to describe these rivers, and then that will help you come to write your similes. Okay, bear with me and I will just get that up for you. So remember your focus here is to write down as much description as you can to describe the rivers you are about to see. I don't really know where I am actually. I haven't got a map. All I've got is a compass bearing taking me up and over this hill here to a valley where I hope I'm going to find the source of a little river. And from there, I'm going to paddle downstream down to the sea. It's about 10 o'clock at night now, so I'm running out of daylight. I was planning to try and get to the source tonight, but I'm not going to make it. So I think I'm just going to find a place to bivy and uh, push on in the morning. Scotland in the summer. Midge. Okay, it's time to start the, the hike down from the lock and the source down until it's deep enough for me to get into the pack bus, which, because uh, I'm very lazy, I'm hoping it's quite soon. For example, here you could say the river rushes like a stampede of antelope okay because you've got the rushing water so just think about that gushing water what gushes what rushes what could you describe that against
the stream sounds like fireworks on bonfire night exploding in the sky. Maybe not exploding, shimmering in the sky. There you go. The stream sounds like fireworks shimmering in the sky on bonfire night. That would work as a simile. I wonder what you can come up with. It was a relief when the river was finally deep enough to get in the pack craft and paddle downstream. And, uh, it's a beautiful river, really, really nice. A um, couple of little bits of rapids, some long, black, smooth bends, a um, couple of locks which are beautiful but pretty tedious to paddle across. It's just gorgeous here. It's fantastic. The river reflects images like a mirror. Okay, I'm going to stop the video there. Really looking forward to seeing your similes. Um, have a real good go. Remember, if you're finding similes very, very difficult, concentrate on description and adjectives. Okay, good luck, year four.